I'm Russ Evans and welcome to The Obsessed Angler. Before I start fishing, let's have a look and see some of the baits I'm going to be using today to catch a few barbel. Now, barbel love hemp, so I'm going to be feeding mainly hemp down, down the edge and also casters as well because they absolutely adore hemp and casters. So that's going to be my main feed bait down the edge. What am I going to be putting on the hook? Well, there's three baits actually. I'm going to be using little pieces of meat, luncheon meat, worms as I mentioned earlier, dendrobenas. Absolutely adore these and I know the carp do as well. And dead maggot. Later on I'll be using sort of two, three, maybe four on a hook. 0.17 mainline. This is a 4 by 14 float which is basically equates to about three number eight so it's quite light. I want it to sort of the bait to slow fall slowly through the water because once they start competing for it and I'm because I'm flicking out bait all the time even while I'm fishing and catching them they're going to be coming up in the water and the first one to get me bait. So if I have it falling nice and slowly then they're going to slam it straight away. Hook sizes I'm going to be using 14s and 16s. I'm going to start off on... Right, the first cast of the day is always a special one. There's your dendrobina worm. may look rather long, but you'll be surprised. I've got some pellet in my toss pot. And uh, let's ship out and let's have a go. I'm fishing about 6 metres of pole. No need to go too far out. The wind's picking up. Just lay the rig out, drop it into place and feed. Sometimes just twitching that bait can produce a bite. Just make some grab it. There it goes, a little dip. And again, a little, oh, and there's barbel down there. There we go. That's, that was a good bite. I had to wait for it. There was no indications, it just decided that it wanted it. Uh, Hanging on a little bit. No, he's a carp. Yeah, I saw him there's a mirror carp. And there he is. He finally gave up for us. Nice plump mirror carp. Let's have a look at him. Nice fish. You can see there the worms just hanging out of his mouth. Couldn't resist that worm, could he? But, well, hopefully there'll be a few, a few better fish sitting on the bottom waiting. Let's see what happens. Yep, there we go. Straight away. Didn't wait. Oh, and that was a vicious bite. Piece of meat works every time. Well, this is going to. This is encouraging. Yeah, he's a barbel. Just see him. Have a look. See who was hanging on the other end of this. He's a good fish. Best one today. Yeah, the barbel in the margins are always much bigger fish. And um, he's over probably over three pounds this one. Piece of meat does the trick. Look at that, what a cracking fish. A superb, superb but hard fighting barbel. Let's get back out and see if we can catch another one. Thank you. 
Well, I'm pleased to pull all these barbels today. But, oh, there we go. But to get an eye of that quality, that's way over two pounds. Let's just nip the hook out. Where's the hook? What an absolute treat that that is to catch a specimenoid like that. There's not many lakes that have fish of that quality. That is fantastic. I'm at, I really am over the moon catching that. I said they were in here, I've had them over here. What a cracker.